Hello, boys and girls, and welcome once again to today's Bible study. We will be doing the last letter in the words in the words parts. I hope you're excited that you have come this far in your in learning the, what the words what each letter in the word sparks mean. Remember, we started with S is for Savior, and we did P is for power, A is for according to the scriptures, R is for raised. K is for keep, and the last letter is also S, and it means saved. That is, we are saved from our sins. When we believe in Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we are saved. Remember, the first word said Savior. That is, the Father has sent his Son to be the Savior of the world. That is, Jesus is our Savior. And the last letter now says saved. That is, that is our response to what God has done. Our response is to believe in Jesus, and when we believe, we are saved. So, where did this word saved come from? It comes from Acts chapter 16, verse 31. And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved, and thy house. Now, this verse came as um, there was a discussion between Paul, Silas, and a man, um, the, a keeper of a jail. Paul and Silas were thrown into jail. Um, they had gone to preach the gospel. They had gone to tell people about Jesus. And there were some people in that place that didn't like what they were doing. So they started. They started a pro protest against Paul and Silas, and it became so violent, and Paul and Silas were arrested, and they were thrown in jail. Well, while they were in jail, in the middle of the night, they started to pray and to sing, and the other prisoners heard them singing. And while they were praying and singing in the middle of the night, a great thing happened. The prison doors were there was a great earthquake and the chains fell off the prisoners' feet and everybody was set free. And when the jailer woke up, he was so scared that, wow, the prisoners have escaped. And he was about to kill himself. But Paul called out to him and said, don't do that. We are all here. And when he saw what happened, he fell at their feet and asked them this question. What must I do to be saved? He said, what must I do to be saved? He saw what had happened. He heard them singing. He saw how the chains fell off the prisoner's hands and feet. He knew that it was the power of God working. And he came to understand, I need to be saved. So he asked Paul and Silas, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they told him this verse in Acts 16, 31. Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. That is it, boys and girls. It is as simple as that. Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. That is it. All God is just asking from us is to believe in the Lord Jesus and we will be saved. So we've come to the end of spelling our word sparks. I hope you've had fun in learning what each letter means. And I hope that the Bible verses we've gone through has speak to you, has spoken to you. Um, if you have the time, you can invite any of your friends to join you in your Zoom class. Um, it will be so great to have friends to join us. Um, and um, for as many of us that have finished Sparks, we would now start to learn some other verses. So till we meet again on Friday, I want to leave you in God's hand. And I hope you will continue to enjoy learning more verses. Have a good week. Bye.